Hello, this is Ashley Applegate with Kentucky Welding Institute, and welcome to part three of our six-part series for plasma cutting. In this video, we're going to briefly discuss the safety requirements for your protection, your PPE for plasma cutting. You want to make sure that you have blue jeans that don't have any holes or frays into them, at least boots that are eight inches tall that are leather, they can be lace up. Some companies require steel toe or safety toe. You'd want some sort of a cotton shirt similar to this one and make sure that you avoid any type of polyester or synthetic material for your arm protection. A better option may be a flame resistant type of shirt or jacket and even further protection may be the leather jacket. Ear protection is always a, a good recommendation for plasma cutting as those noises from that air requirements are going to get pretty loud and it may keep a stray spark from getting down in your ear. Eye protection is required, so safety glasses without fail, always under your shield. I recommend a face shield, that it's a full face covering for your plasma cutting, that way you're protecting your, your face from the arc. This particular model has a dark shield that will flip up and then flip down. You're gonna to wanna to use at least a shade five minimum for your plasma cutting, so that shade lens doesn't have to be as dark as your welding lens, and in some type of proper glove with a gauntlet sleeve that covers your wrist. Some of your auto darkening welding hoods do have a plasma or a grind mode, but if you use that mode, make sure that it is dark enough for the amperage and the material that you're cutting per that manufacturer's recommendation. 